to harvest millions of tons of wheat. Modern Wheat Cultivation Wheat is the world's most important food crop. Its debut is a farmed crop drastically altered human feeding habits since the grain can be processed into flour that can be kept for long periods and used to produce bread. This made it a portable food, influencing the development of nomadic tribal societies and animal husbandry, both of which are essential aspects in the global expansion of agriculture. Wheat is cultivated from seeds. Wheat can be planted in the spring or the fall, often known as winter wheat. Farmers typically plant winter wheat because it's one of the few crops that can be grown easily at this time of year. The stage of the rain-fed crop occurs much sooner than the stage of the irrigated crop. When the grain hardens and the straw turns dry and brittle, the crop is ready to be picked. The sickle is mostly used for harvesting. The crop is threshed either by a power-driven thresher or by treading with livestock on the threshing floor. Wheat takes around four months to mature, but when it comes to deciding when to harvest it, the farmer must know when the crop is at its peak. The finish will be faster if the weather has been dry and hot. On the downs, harvest morning is not too early. The farmer must wait until the sun is high enough in the sky to dry the dew that's accumulated on the plants overnight. When the stalks become wet, they become quite difficult to harvest. As with any plant in your garden, when it's wet, it's harder to break. The plants must also be completely dry before the wheat grain can be separated from the chaff. As a result, if it rains the day before, the harvest will have to be postponed until the crop has properly dried off. If you like the video, please like, share and comment below to let us know about your feedback. For successful and uniform germination of the wheat crop, a well-pulverized but compact seed bed is necessary. good hard seed bed is produced for the dry crop with three or four plowings in the summer, repeated harrowing in the wet season, followed by three or four cultivations and planking right before sowing. Pre-sowing irrigation and fewer plowings are done on the soil for the irrigated crop. Where white ants or other pests are a concern, the soil should be treated with aldrin 5% or BHC 10% dust at a rate of 25 kg per hectare after the last plowing or before planking. Row spacing of 15 to 22.5 cm is used for irrigated, timely seeded wheat. However, 22.5 cm between the rows is seen to be ideal. The ideal row spacing for irrigated late sown circumstances is 15 to 18 cm. The planting depth for dwarf kinds of wheat should be between 5 and 6 centimeters. Planting deeper than this depth leads to a weak stand. The depth of sowing for traditional tall types should be 8 or 9 centimeters. Seeds from types that are vulnerable to loose smut should be treated with hot water or the sun. Vitivax can be applied to wheat seeds that will only be used for sowing and not for human or animal consumption. The goal of wheat header placement should be to collect all of the grain while reducing the volume of straw that must be handled by the rest of the combine.
harvesting, ensure the sickle is in good working order. For maximum performance, sharp sickle parts cut straw swiftly and neatly. Dull sickle portions tear at the stalks, sending some of the sickle's forceful motion to the head, causing shattering. Because wheat forms heads only at the top of the stem, wheat cutting height should be relatively high to limit the amount of straw handled by the combine. The combine operator must be constantly aware of and prepare to modify header height when the terrain or crop height varies. To improve feeding and cutting performance, always harvest around the same length of the stem. The reel should be set just ahead of the cutter bar and low enough to make solid contact with the stem's tops. Adjust the reel speed relative to the ground speed such that the bats begin to lay The farmer then attaches the plow to the tractor and smashes up the stalks double to cover the soil. This prepares the field for the summer crop, which will be sown in a month or two in some regions of the country. The farmer wants to go out and plow the empty field as soon as it rains. This stimulates the weeds to develop and then be chopped away so that there's no latent seeds ready to hustle their way into the next wheat crop. If it rains immediately after planting the grain for the following season, the weeds will get a head start and choke off areas of the wheat crop. When they begin to proliferate, the only thing you can do is get a weed separator for your collection bin so that the weed seeds can be screened out of the wheat grain. <laughs> 